Good morning, Arroyo Vista. Buenos dias, Coyotes. We are your Wednesday broadcast team. Hi, I'm Sebastian. Hi, I'm Christina. Hi, I'm Ruby. Antes de los anuncios, vamos a darle a saludo a la bandera. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Welcome to Be Kind Wednesday. Treat everyone with politeness and kindness, not because they are nice, but because you are. Roy G. Bennett. Arroyo Vista, challenge yourself to show kind, to show your kindness every day. Our staff passive goes to Mr. Juan for keeping our school shining. Here is Mr. David with a important with a announcement. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Mr. David. Good morning, thank you. Here once more to announce the finally the beginning of our military pride club. We'll be meeting today in room 802, so come by, pick up a permission form, or come by to join the fun. Hope to see you there. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Davis. Thanks. It's time for today's joke. Today's joke is, what kind of fish can perform surgery? What kind of fish can, per can perform surgery? Stay tuned for the answer. ¿Qué opciones tenemos hoy en la cafetería? Today for lunch, we have orange popcorn chicken, corn dog, turkey and cheese sub. Today for breakfast, we have breakfast pizza, French toast sticks, rice krispies, or fr frosted mini meats. Hay que hablar de nutrición. Time for your daily scoop of good nutrition news. Last summer is a great time, is, late summer is a great time to harvest and enjoy watermelon. This month, delicious melons and tomatoes are ripe for picking, but both are rich in vitamin C, a nutrient that helps heal cuts. Enjoy them now. Summer is almost over. Remember, healthy food equals better, greater mood. Here's the answer to our joke. What kind of fish can perform surgery? What kind of fish can perform surgery? Sturgeon. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. um, today is Patriot Day. In honor of Patriot Day, Ms. Saunders is here to read a book about our flag. Good morning, Ms. Saunders. Good morning, Ms. Good morning, broadcast team. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> today is Patriot's Day. So in honor of today, <clears throat> a special day that we recognize <clears throat> the brave <clears throat> first responders, I have a special book that I'd like to share with you. It is called F is for Flag. Let's see what important information we can learn about our flag today. is for flag, our flag, the American flag, seeing it wave in the wind, just like a hand waving hello. Our flag is everywhere, at the library and in the park, even on letters we send. We see our flag near and far, at school and on ships at sea. We see our flag in happy times and sad times. Our flag is so many places because we are proud of it. It stands for our country, the United States of America, and it stands for us, the people who live here. Who are we? We are all kinds of people, different in many ways. But we live and work and play together. We are like one great big family. One country, one family, one flag for everybody. The first American flag was made more than 200 years ago. That's when America became a country. Do you know who made the first flag? No. No one really knows. One story says Betty Ross made it after George Washington asked her to. Snip, snip, snip. Betsy cut and sewed. Soon the flag was finished. The first flag looked different. It had 13 stars and 13 stripes. That's because there were only 13 states when the United States first became a country. Today our country is bigger. We have 50 states now, and our flag has 50 bright stars, one for each state. But our flag still has 13 stripes, 
to remember the first 13 states. The colors of our flag are the same, red, white, and blue. Sometimes we even call our flag the red, white, and blue. We've given our flag a nickname. We have other nicknames for our flag too, Stars and Stripes, Old Glory, and Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner is also the name of our country's song. It's a song all about our flag. Sometimes when we hear it, tears come to our eyes. We are proud of our flag. We have songs about it. We have nicknames for it. We have the Pledge of Allegiance too. The pledge is a promise, a promise to be a good American, a promise to be a good friend to our flag. As we make this progress, we hold our hand over our heart. This shows that we mean what we say. F is for flag, our flag. F is for family and friends and freedom too, and everything special that our flag stands for. This is the special book that I wanted to share with everyone today in honor of Patriots Day. And now I have a special project for you. It's an optional project, but it's something I really hope that every student at our school will consider in honor of Patriots today. I'm hoping that everyone will take some time today to either draw a picture or possibly write a thank you note to our first responders. Girls, do you know who the first responders are? Uh, they're the police, the firefighters, they're the people that help the community. Absolutely, those are excellent examples of first responders. Some other first responders are paramedics or EMTs. Do you know what an EMT is? No. An EMT is an emergency medical technician, and they're heroes too. So today, hopefully you'll have a little bit of time in your class to possibly draw a picture or write a thank you note to our first responders. Have a great and special Patriots Day, Coyotes. Thank you, Ms. Landers. You're welcome, girls. Este es el final de los anuncios del día de hoy. Tengan todos un excelente día. Have a special Patriots Day.